Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that looks really tasty. Oh my goodness. Oh, make it stop already. I can't eat any of this stuff anymore. Because why? I'm gluten free. And I am actually happy about it, people. Come on in and see what gluten-free diet has done for my anxiety and OCD. You gotta check it out. It could help you. Let's go. So before I went gluten-free, I was in a lot of pain. I had so much arthritis pain. Oh my goodness. I mean, I felt like I had a slip and fall accident every day. I had neck pain. I had shoulder pain, like really deep aching pain, like in my joints, in my knees, in my legs. All of those have disappeared since I have stopped eating gluten. Also, my anxiety and OCD symptoms improved after I stopped eating gluten and started a gluten-free diet. So I want to tell you about that today because I think that I want to empower you with all kinds of things that you can do to combat anxiety naturally. I just did a video about red reishi mushroom for anxiety and my review of it for my anxiety and if it worked for me or not, well, you have to go check out the video and see. And maybe that'll be something else that you can try. However, we're talking about gluten today. So what is gluten? A lot of people are not familiar with what gluten is. Gluten is a family of storage proteins formerly known as promelins. And they are naturally found in certain grains such as wheat, barley, and rye. They usually put gluten in food to make it taste better. Basically, gluten, it comes from the Latin word, which has a derivative of glue. It's kind of the thing that makes bread chewy and makes the flour stick together. So that's why they use gluten in all kinds of bread products. Anything that you eat that's made out of flour and wheat is going to probably have gluten in it, unless you buy gluten-free. Gluten is also added to a bunch of other products like dressings. It's in so many different types of food. But what happens is that if you are gluten intolerant like me, and I found out by going to the doctor and having a test done, which you can do also, then you will find that gluten will make you ill. So for me, I got horrible, horrible muscle aches and pains that were so debilitating for me and really bad stomach and gut problems, really foggy thinking just not feeling great. My gut was not in good condition at all when I was eating gluten. And what happens is if you are intolerant, when you eat it, your body kind of doesn't digest it properly and it ends up fermenting in your gut. And it causes all kinds of problems because it does not get digested. And then all of a sudden you have damage in your gut. If you have not researched, you should know that the gut and the mind, there is a huge connection between how you feel and what you're eating and also how your gut health is. And I have just learned this recently, so that's why I've been doing cleanses and all kinds of things to clean up my gut. Because I figure that if I can get my gut in good health, then my anxiety and my mood will improve also. And probably my OCD symptoms too. So what foods contain gluten? Initially, you might be a little sad when you find out all the things you think you can't eat. So grains usually have gluten, like whole wheat, wheat bran, barley, rye, um, which is also used for cookies, cakes, pastries, breadcrumbs, bread, pasta, noodles of most kinds. And other foods and beverages also have gluten in it, like barley, malt, malt vinegar, soy sauce salad dressings, gravies, and even beer. Oh yeah, if you're a beer drinker out there and you wanna be on a gluten-free diet, well, I don't know, I don't drink, so sorry for you. But I'm gonna tell you, I thought after looking at all the things that I shouldn't eat on a gluten-free diet, I was like, well, what am I gonna eat? But I'm gonna tell you, there are some good gluten-free products out there. And some of them have 
actually tasted better to me than the things that had gluten in it. So let's get to the gluten and anxiety connection. So I did a lot of research and I went and read a lot of medical articles about this. And they have shown that people who are intolerant to gluten and who continuously eat it may have more anxiety and more problems with their mood. So if you want to know if you're gluten intolerant, here are some symptoms. So you could possibly have digestion problems, excessive bloating, headache, joint pain, stomach aches after eating, fatigue, unexplained mood changes, and the lack of the ability to think clearly, which they call brain fog. And then of course, you could have anxiety and depression. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, then you may wanna to go to your doctor and ask them to test you for gluten intolerance. So I found out I was intolerant many years ago. And guess what? I still kept eating gluten, cause I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Like I like bread and I like all of this other stuff. And I don't really eat a lot of sugar and other things, but I like a sandwich. Oh. But after doing the research and really looking into gluten and finding out about all of the other body things that could improve with getting rid of it, not just anxiety, but all the other problems I was having, I thought I have to give it a try. So what were my results? Yes, my anxiety improved. And how so? Well, I felt less anxious. And also with my OCD symptoms, my thinking was clearer. So I was doing compulsions a little less. So that was a huge improvement for me. Also, the joint problems that I had completely cleared up. I'm gonna tell you, since I stopped gluten months ago, I stopped back in September, the beginning of September. I'm going to tell you, all of my aches and pains that I was having and feeling like I had arthritis every single day has completely gone away. My gut has started to improve and I've started to feel better in my digestion also. So that has improved a lot. And also always felt sluggish and like really lethargic after eating like bread and pasta and things like that. And honestly, now I feel I have more energy and my mood overall has improved. I'm gonna tell you, I am so happy that I don't eat gluten anymore. So what do I usually eat? Well, you wanna find out, go check out my video. I did a video about a cleanse that I just did and it shows you all of the great food that I'm starting to eat now on a gluten-free diet. And I talk extensively about how eating better has helped my anxiety and my OCD in that video. You don't want to miss the information there and how it could help you and also to see some of the food that I'm eating now and that I'm really enjoying. I will do another video about all of the gluten-free products that I like to try and eat to diminish my anxiety and to help with my OCD. If you're interested, leave it in the comments below and let me know if that's something you want to see me do as far as videos are concerned. So stay tuned people. I'm gonna be doing more videos and giving you more information about how to prove your anxiety and OCD. I'm gonna be talking more about my symptoms. I'm gonna be talking more about my progress, talking more about medication and natural ways to help yourself. Come back, subscribe, like, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, and thank you for supporting. I appreciate it so much. Thank you.